and gentlemen, this is... Hello boxing fans, let me introduce myself as the host of Sport Night Channel. Over the next 7 minutes we will discuss everything about sports, especially boxing, and combat sports. Of course it's not just my personal thoughts that are needed. However, all your comments must also be added in the comments column, so that they can help me raise the value of education in boxing. Because if everyone is aware, everyone is very special to me. And now we will watch again the match between Dmitry Bivol and Jean Pascal, a Russian boxer and a Canadian boxer. The fight between Bivol, who comes from Russia and Pascal from Canada, has finished in Hard Rock Casino, Atlantic City, New Jersey, United States on Saturday, November 24, 2018. <laughs> At the beginning, Jean Pascal tried to intimidate Bivol and was seen teasing him several times. It's as if Pascal said that Bivol's blows don't have any consequences when they land on his face and body. But it was clear here throughout the rounds Bivol had a dominant performance as Pascal had almost nothing to offer the Russian from the start. Bivol was the one throwing the jab and showing sharp counter-attacking ability with a one to combination while his feet bouncing on the ring like a basketball. While Pascal struggled to find openings to explode with his athleticism, seen in the middle of the round, Jean Pascal appears to be throwing accurate and heavy punches to Bivol's chin. It made the audience cheer a little, because they were surprised that a man close to retirement age had such a large stamina reserve in the middle of the round until the end. <laughs> Pascal's 
Паскаль устал. И вот чем все опасно. В какой-то момент Дмитрий, тут такое болельщическое выражение, безусловно. Но еще раз скажу, атака была. Вот результат. При этом тоже силовые соперники со стороны Паскали, которые была на сверху. Это тоже силы сейчас очень нужны. The situation has not changed. Jean Pascal's punch which was aimed at Bivol's face was right on the chin. Everything Bivol could have withstood. This means that Bivol has a strong chin like Gennady Golovkin. After Pascal showed his attack, it was time for Dmitry Bivol to respond more actively in this round. Bivol doesn't have a punch that can knock out his opponent. Bivol should add hook and uppercut punches more often so that he has the potential to knock out his opponent. But it seems like he doesn't like the uppercut punch, because the uppercut will quickly run out of stamina and he will have difficulty doing bouncing movements in the ring, in and out, because the one to punch movement makes it easier to move his legs to maintain his distance from his opponent. <laughs> Вот 
Дмитрий Тович мать, как раз, что будет проигран по очкам. Это единственный выход. Ну, это так вообще. Not long after that, the final round bell rang. That means the match is over. The referee decides that Mitri Bivol is the winner. And still, WBA light heavyweight champion of the world, Dmitry. Hopefully the review provided by the Sport Night channel and admin can cheer up your days. I hope you can sleep well. But before taking a break, help the Sports Night channel to develop further by liking, leaving comments and subscribing. Hit the bell. Hope you have a nice day.